Okay, so we're back into Tinkercad and we're going to use it this time to make a 3D model of our box. We're not actually going to print anything out from this, but we're going to use it so that we can create a orthographic projection um, and we've got the technical specs. So I'm going to talk you through the different steps. First of all, we're going to take in our box, drag it to the corner and we're going to click back on this bottom corner. I'm going to put the measurements in. So our speaker is 100 by 100. And it is 100 high. So I'm going to drag that into the middle and we're going to zoom out so that we can see the box. Okay, so we've now got um, the basic cube, if you like. We're going to drag in this box, and this is the empty box on the inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop it into the middle. A little bit laggy there, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. What we're going to do is we're going to move this to the other corner. It's not working for me there. There we are. And we're going to do these measurements. And these measurements we're going to do as 95 by 95. We're then going to click on the cone. So you see this cone on the top. That lifts it off the ground. And we're going to lift it. So this measurement over here, we're going to lift it five off the ground. What we're going to do is we're just going to drag this as high up as we can so it's at least over 100 because we want to be able to see it. And then we're going to take our solid box, we're going to move it, and we can use the view to help. We're going to move it so that it is um, surrounding this. Uh, invisible box and be quite it's easier really I find to use the, um, the buttons on the keyboard I'm not using a mouse either so you, you'll find this easier with a mouse right so once we've done that we're just going to select all of them together and we're going to group them and what's going to happen is that's actually going to take this hollow box outside of the solid box with us it's um, lagging a little bit but there we go so you can see now we've got a hollow box there representing our speaker without the lid okay so we're now going to put our speaker in and to do that we're going to use a half sphere and what we want to do is click again on the corners here and we want it to be 51 and 51 and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the rotation and we're going to rotate it 90. And you can just type 90 in if you find that easier. Change your view so you can see it. Move the cone up. And you can just do this by sight really. You don't need to be too accurate. But we're going to have this in the middle. And notice how I'm changing the views so that I can see... Um, where it is at all times. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to move that a little bit more in the middle. Okay, so there we are. There's the speaker. Over on the other side, I had my uh, bat logo, so I might just import that. So it was an SVG not sure how to do this as well you don't have to do this it all depends really on what your design it was and what you've what you've done that's massive so i'm just going to shrink that right down move it over here and again i'm going to rotate it I'm bring it up and we bring it in I don't want this to go through the wood like it has done there. I just want it to touch it ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that because I'm going to make this a hole so that when I group it all, it puts the indent in it like it did in, in real life for our actual speaker box. So 
Okay, so I've got my speaker and I've got my logo. I'm going to highlight all of that and I'm going to group it. Keeping the speaker solid. So you can see it as a solid speaker. And then if we zoom in, you should be able to see that that's like a little indentation, which is what we have. Right, that's the box. And then we need to import our lid, don't we? So I'm just going to go to import choose file and you should have your lid stl file and you're just going to open that import it and it's going to appear on the floor but at least it'll be a solid object i'm going to click on that and we're going to lift it up And we can position it right away on the top. But I kind of want to show that it's hollow on the inside. So I'm not going to put it all the way on the top. I'm going to put it like that. Just to sort of demonstrate that it's the lid. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it on the top. I'll take a couple of different shots. Just take time to just line it up. Yeah, okay, I'm happy enough with that. So what we can do now, we've got our 3D box and we're gonna just do some screenshots of it. So all you need to do is press the print screen button on your keyboard and then control V to paste your images into a PowerPoint. So to start us off with, we'll go for a 3D shot that shows the speaker. And then we can click over here and we can get another 3D shot that shows that bit. Now for our orthographic projection, we're going to go to the front and we want to make sure it's clicked like this. We don't want it to be 3D. We don't want to drag it roughly round. We want to click exactly here. So it's perfect front. So it becomes a 2D image with the exact measurements. And then we're going to click to the side and the side and the side so i'd have all of those as pictures and then the top so like that right so that's my orthographic projections and then again like i just said i can take the lid off um, and sort of move it and i can do the same again top from Okay, so that's it really. Um, I can't show you the copying and pasting because I'm already printing my screen to do this video. But basically you just press print screen and then you go into a PowerPoint and press Control V. And you can do that for as many different views as you want. So you can do close-ups, you can zoom in, you can do different angles. But at the very least I want an orthographic projection. So I want the top, then I want the front, and then I want the side and then a 3D one just to go with it. Okay, so that is what you need to do.